Almost every day we see a new must-see moment from former vice president and man asking, if they're on limited breadsticks, why can't I take some home in a Ziploc? <laughs> Joe Biden. Well, an old video from 2017 went viral this weekend, and in the video, Biden tells a story from his youth when he was the only white lifeguard at a predominantly black Delaware pool. Makes sense? Lifeguard is the vice president of the pool. Uh, <laughs> largely ceremonial. No one listens to you. Uh, and uh, you get a whistle. <laughs> Biden told the story at a ceremony uh, which the city had when they named the pool after him in 2017, and it turned into a kind of a weird rambly story about a guy named Corn Pop. Corn Pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did, yeah, he, and back in those days, to show how things have changed, one of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I got back in those days. Uh, I got pomade. <laughs> I got uh, 1940s film star mm -hmm. Esther Williams. <laughs> uh, and I've got bathing cap. Okay. <laughs> I've got old man bingo. <laughs> So, Biden told uh, Corn Pop to get off the diving board for breaking the rules, and Corn Pop had another offer. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. He's waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. There used to be a chain that went across the deep end, and he cut off a six-foot length of chain. So I walked out with the chain. Yes. <laughs> Joe Biden fights with a chain. <laughs> also known as getting smacked with the rust belt. <laughs> so Biden had a chain, but Corn Pop and the gang had some gnarly weapons of their own. In those days, you used to remember the straight race, you'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. The rain barrel? <laughs> yeah, they, they would uh, put them in the rain barrel, they would dip them in the, in the saltwater taffy vat. <laughs> Is this what kids were doing in their early 60s? Because I think we need to reevaluate how bad screen time really is. <laughs> Look, uh, little Timmy has been watching a lot of YouTube, but he has not cut a bitch in months. <laughs> so. I mean, six in one, half a dozen in the other. You know? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how did this story end? And also, did this story end? <laughs> it did. Biden apologized. Corn Pop accepted the apology, and they joined up to ballet fight their real enemies, the Sharks and the Jets. Pow! Pow! <laughs> cool boy! Crazy boy! Easy! Easy, Corn Pop! What? I, I, I like a lot of what Joe Biden says. All of this sounds too insane to be true. But the former mayor of Wilmington, Delaware, confirmed Corn Pop was a real person, saying he was real as the moon in the sky. <laughs> Does everyone in this story sound like they're in a Frank Capra movie? <laughs> oh, I remember the dust up between old Joe and Corn Pop. It was as, as real as the song in your heart the first time you see a lady's gams. <laughs> If this story is true, if this story is true, then it is a critical moment in United States history, which is why we've brought it to life with this painstakingly accurate historical reenactment. Hey, this malarkey ends here, Corn Pop. Oh, really? Tell that to the Bounce Breakfast Gang. That's 2% milk, he sliced banana, and your toast. This is about respecting the law of the pool. No bouncing on the board. No swimming after you eat, and no running by the pool. You could slip and hurt yourself, and then I'd have to hit you with this chain. I miss him, Corn Pop. His eyes filling with blood. This guy's crazy. Now look, Barack. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of Barack Obama, my best friend in the whole world. He's currently one year old. I'm just looking out for you. 
And I'm sorry I called you Esther Williams, because I realize that even now, in 1962, that's a really old reference. You know what, Joe? You're not so bad. I mean, you're not my favorite, but you're fine. Let's get out of here, boys. A nice guy. I wonder why they call him Corn Pop. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Tom Hiddleston is here. But when we return, 